Thank you for your high spirits, your positive vibrations, your good medicine. Here we are. Please welcome from Tempe, Arizona, the Peacemaker. Ah! I'm Roger Klein, uh, I'm founder of Roger Klein and the Peacemakers, proudly from Arizona. Hi everybody, I'm P.H. Naffa, I'm drummer for uh, Roger Klein and the Peacemakers. Hi, I'm Nick Skropis, bass player in Roger Klein and the Peacemakers. Hi, I'm Jim Dalton, lead guitarist for Roger Klein and the Peacemakers. <laughs> The refreshments were certainly the genesis of the Peacemakers. Yeah, we went from bar band banging around just ASU and Tucson to um, national stages pretty quickly. And when I first got the record deal, I was like, man, this is it. I'm gonna be rich and famous. And then had a video, and then we're in a bus, and then had another video, and then we broke up. We lost two members in our band, um, lost a record deal. We are like, what do we do? We, we don't wanna go get jobs. Raj came up with the idea, said, hey, you know, my dad's got a ranch, let's go hiking and kind of clear our heads and figure out what direction we want to, we want to go. We both decided we were going to commit through hell or high water to keep going. I'm not here not to do the impossible. It was a, a call to independence and we wanted to, to, to get out there and do it on our own. Independent is key and we've been that since uh, our first issue, since Honky Tonk Union in 1999. I didn't even know what the internet was back then, so uh, when we got the number one, you know, Billboard number one internet for Honky Tonk Union, I think they called us up and they're like, who the hell are you guys? What's, what's going on here? So, and that's all due to the fans. We certainly wanted to be rooted in Arizona and celebrate that. Arizona Night on Native Heart, specifically about the, the spell that Arizona puts on one should you open yourself up. Growing up at the, at the Klein Ranch, my grandfather and father played country, western storytelling stuff. When I turned into a teenager, I swore, swore I would never pull on another pair of cowboy boots and started rebelling with Lords of the New Church, the Sex Pistols. I brought both of those things together sort of by accident in my music, this, this love of punk rock and, and pure snotty rebellion. I've proudly put back on my cowboy boots and I still lean, lean very hard on my, my punk rock um, influences. Raj and I just started as a duo, playing at Long Longs and playing at Yucca Tap Room and we've had a lot of different players come into the into the fold over the years and you know without their hard work and their you know their creative contributions we wouldn't we wouldn't be here a roll call yeah the roll call of the peacemakers from way back when to present jim swafford the responsible one who kept the schedules and did the booking then there's daryl iacard the first bass player at step up and then scotty johnson who was a guitar player for the jim blossoms came in so that was the first iteration of the Peacemakers. Steve Larson uh, was a huge fan, still am a huge fan of Dead Heart Workshop. He was a co-founder of that band. Then Danny White stepped in from Nashville. And then Danny and Steve left, and we have our current lineup, which is Jim Dalton and Nick Skropos. Funny that the sirens are going off when I mention those guys. <laughs> it's been an amazing adventure, and I think every artist would probably say the same. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's a weird life way. Um, but it's, it's really, really great. <laughs>